10 shark movies. You want to talk about sharks, I'll tell you about sharks that'll make your pubes stand up straight like the first time you saw a naked booty. For this list, we're looking at films that feature at least one shark in a prominent role or scene. Shark! Films like Orca the Killer Whale, which were inspired by shark movies but don't feature any of the sea creatures, need not apply. Everybody loves him just the way he is. Number 10, Sharktopus. First mate Steffi has just handed me some breaking news. Apparently a half shark, half octopus has been sighted off the coast two miles south of Playa del Sol. According to sources, it is armed and dangerous. With legendary B-movie producer Roger Corman working behind the scenes, this sci-fi original film was bound to be a good time. This better be good, Sands. I stood up an apple to be here. Trust me, Commander. I don't want to see this. Featuring a U.S. Navy commissioned experiment in genetic splicing, the titular half-shark, half-octopus was designed to be a weapon. S-11 is now totally under our control. Blue Water Corps has just created the Navy's next super weapon. Sands. Crafty SOB. It did it. Shockingly, the beast escapes and terrorizes beachgoers, which allows for epic gore and scantily clad victims. Is it over yet? Leave your brain at the door and have a fun time. Oh no! Not like this! Ah! Number 9. Bait 3D. Get help! After a supermarket and the adjoining parking structure are flooded in this 3D horror thriller, a group of survivors realize they are not alone. Holy shit, Kyle! Kyle! What? What? Hunted by two sharks, the small group must work together to survive the deadly creatures and each other. You think this will work? Absolutely. I would need a cheeseburger with its wrapping on. But of course, I'm not a shark. <laughs> Featuring dynamic effects and gruesome deaths, the Australian Singaporean flick gives shark movie lovers exactly what they're looking for. I'm okay! <laughs> Number 8, Shark Tale. Hey, Mom said it's not okay to hit. Ah! Mom's not here. Da -da. Da -da. And now for a change of pace. While it may not be the first to come to mind when you think shark movies, Shark Tale has its merits as a film set under the sea. Yo, that was crazy, right? Who knew? I mean, everything's set, it's a lock, we good to go, we in the money, and he trips underwater. Produced by DreamWorks, the computer animated comedy features the voice talents of Hollywood stars like Will Smith. Uh, my name is Oscar, sweetie. Angelina Jolie. You just show him who's boss. And those sharks will leave you alone. Robert De Niro and more. Long story short, from now on, you just work for Frankie and Lenny. Gabish? This story of a blue street cleaner wrasse that gets wrapped up in the dealings of a criminal shark organization was also a box office winner during its first three weekends in theaters. You need to slay a shark, and I need to disappear. Here's what we're gonna do. With tons of pop culture references and the ability to successfully appeal to both children and adults. Can you tell Don Lame O that I don't ever, 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 never want to see another shark on this reef again? Number seven, Jaws 2. But I'm telling you and I'm telling everybody at this table that that's a shark. And I know what a shark looks like because I've seen one up close. And you better do something about this one because I don't intend to go through that hell again. Picking up four years after the events of the original, this horror thriller chronicles Chief Brody's children's fight to survive the second shark attack to terrorize the small town of Amity Island. The boys join a small group of teens on a series of boats in the water when a shark begins to pick them off one at a time. Featuring one of the most unique helicopter scenes of all time, Jaws 2 was a box office hit and a sequel that's not to be missed. Number 6, The Deep. What's wrong? I'm not floating. Not now. That's the biggest moray eel I ever saw. You want to 
needed you for supper. Based on the follow-up novel published by Jaws author Peter Benchley, this project was accompanied by huge expectations. You want to have your name on a plaque? And the underwater sequences featuring many deadly predators lived up to many of them. I'm not doing that. I'm going down there. And you're going to have to blow me up too. Under attack by mores, things are getting tense. But it's not until a shark shows up to hunt Nick Nolte's protagonist that things really get scary in the deep. You need to go Number five, Sharknado. We are here live at the Santa Monica Pier. This is what remains after the massive storm tore through this popular attraction. The waves also brought in sharks, which have injured dozens and killed several people. There aren't many made-for-TV movies that manage to become water cooler talk, but Sharknado certainly pulled off that beat. Looks like it's that time of the month. Combine a completely silly plot. There are sharks flooding the streets. Actors who have become walking punchlines. Yeah, now there's one swimming in your pool. And a script that takes itself far too seriously. And the end results are one of a kind. What is that? It's a water spout. A tornado over the ocean. Water gets sucked up into the air and... A tornado infested with sharks that's coming to kill you and everyone you love. What's there not to love about that? After our sale, could have delivered the boat to Indonesia. The guy is crewing for me owns this. Five people on a yacht are sailing to Indonesia when they strike a reef and capsize. What happened? Dunno. Must have hit something. Reef. A whale. Soon, they realize they have no way to signal for help. And if they're gonna live, they have no choice but to swim for land. There's a current. Drifting further out to sea. The boat's f***ed, but I think it's going to stay afloat. Buoyed by magnificent shark effects and the fact that anyone can be devoured at any second as they float across the ocean, shark fans should not miss the reef. After all, it's a killer good time. Pull me up! Pull me up! Take me! Take me! Number three, deep blue sea. Beneath its glassy surface world of gliding monsters. When scientists modify several great whites in an attempt to enlarge their brains so they can harvest chemicals from them, things go horribly awry. In this sci-fi horror, the altered sharks are both massive and have intelligence on par with humans. Now you see how that works? And as a result, they're able to devise ways to escape their captors and eat a few tasty humans along the way. And what you've done is taken God's oldest killing machine and given it will and desire. What you've done is knock us all the way to the bottom of the goddamn food chain. Watching a normal shark hunt people is cool, but watching giant ones who are outwitting them at every turn is just plain awesome. Come to my life. Number two, open water. Scatter thunder showers tomorrow night. Looks like it's going to be crowded on the boat tomorrow. I hope it's not a cattle boat. This psychological horror is loosely based on the true story of a scuba diving couple that is forgotten by their group and abandoned in the middle of the ocean. I think it's time to swim. Swim where? Before long, they both receive bites on their legs from sharks and are bleeding out. Tell me, how did I get cut? I don't know. Maybe you rubbed up against my knife while we were sleeping or something. Oh, come on. It wasn't a shark, was it? Oh, my God. God, no, honey. Are you sure? No, if it was a shark, your leg would be gone. Shot on digital video to give it a more realistic feel, Open Water's filmmakers managed to make the drama almost impossible not to relate to, as the horror the couple was undoubtedly feeling really came through. Horror. What is it? Are you, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Before we take a bite out of our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, 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 oh my god! 
Number one, Jaws. Alex Kindler is the kid who was missing in the theater. His mother says it was a shark. We don't even know there's a shark around here. There's a good reason that for years after its release, some viewers were afraid to go in the water. Steven Spielberg uses the thriller's mechanical shark 